Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we've got a bunch of topics to go through. I feel like I've said that a lot recently, but they genuinely are a lot to go through. So let's get straight into it. Kicking it off with Chelsea join local and Arsenal in the race for 22 year old. As you can see pictured here, it is the AC Milan player, Rafael Leao. I'm assuming is how you pronounce that. He is um, a striker no, slash winger that plays AC Milan. If you've watched them, you'll probably know of him. We'll take a look at some of his stats here, but look at him. He is 22 years old, right footed, um, pretty tall, fairly physical um, kind of player that his strengths are long balls and ball control with no outstanding weaknesses. And as I said, he can play left, left wing and striker. Valued at about 48 million euros. So that's an interesting one. I don't believe this article actually mentions anything of a price. So we don't know um, how much it's going to cost, but it obviously says that um, Chelsea will face stiff competition because Liverpool are after him, Arsenal, they're all sort of interested. Looking at some of his stats here, in the Serie A, 38 total appearances, 11 goals and 8 assists. So overall you're looking at 19 and 34 there, 31 starts if you're counting those. Um, looking at some of his other stats, his passing actually, the numbers are pretty solid there, you have to say. Dribbles, good, you know, could be better I suppose, and only four yellow cards, so no really disciplinary issues. You can see definitely plays off that left a lot more than down the middle. So that's likely where he would play for Chelsea, should they sign him. His average over score rating for the last year is a 7.12, so a very strong rating there. Only one sort of major injury that kept him out all of December. Page refresh there. Kept him out all of December. But other than that, you know, you can see these are generally pretty positive months. A couple slightly below par, but generally above average for this guy. So, is this guy good enough for Chelsea? And, you know, what's he going to cost is probably the more important thing. 34 total games, 11 goals, 8 assists. I'd say that's good numbers. It's not outstanding. You know, remembering that we saw Lukaku putting up crazy numbers in uh, Syria. Timo Werner in the Bundesliga, they come to the Premier League, those numbers drop drastically. Um, so 11 goals, 8 assists, that is actually fairly solid in 34 games, I wouldn't be too ashamed of that. Um, 48 million euros is his current value, so assuming, you know, Lukaku goes one way, this guy comes in, 40 to 50 million isn't a crazy amount, I think, that we'd spend on a striker. And remembering that Chelsea are also looking at Gabriel Jesus, who's going to cost about 42.5, I think we uh, we came to the conclusion of the other day. So, you know, he's going to be around the same sort of fee. Difference being, I guess, uh, Gabriel Jesus is Premier League proven, hasn't ever put crazy numbers up in the league, but generally is considered a fairly solid player. We can take a look at last season for the Rafael as well. The appearances, six goals, six assists, you know, really does contribute like assists and goals pretty evenly you know it's not a massive gap between them and seems like a solid play you know that if you're looking at the goals per minute ratio it's about 238 for him in this previous season which isn't amazing you know I'm pretty sure even Lukaku's got a better ratio than that so is he an improvement on Lukaku probably not but he is also only 22 years old so it's someone that would grow into the team so an interesting one i'd be open to seeing him come to chelsea if thomas tuchel wants him then i back him but let's move on to the next topic and this next one as you can see pictured here is about ibrahim sangare i believe that's how I pronounce it i still don't know if that's accurate or not and it says according to this article dutch side psv are aware of transfer interest in their 24 year old is understood they are considering a different player as a potential midfield replacement. It says they'll turn their targets, um, turn to one of their targets if Sangar exits this tra uh, summer transfer window. And then it says Chelsea being linked with PSV defensive midfielder Sangar, consider him, uh, considering him as an alternative to Chuameni, who of course we basically know is locked in at going to Real Madrid this year. So if that one's locked, Chelsea need a defensive mid. Probably not going to be able to get Declan Rice this year, or next year. It's another story in itself, but this year almost certainly not. I've said I'd be pretty open to getting him. If you guys aren't aware of him, I did a video on him maybe a week or so ago, week or two weeks ago. Um, and he seems like a pretty solid player. I've got to say, and that was it, 24 years old, going to be a lot cheaper than the rest of them. This is one I think Chelsea should move on, and it looks like there could be movements happening. We'll see what happens in the coming days slash weeks, but. It's looking good. They're preparing for the departure of him, so they know he's going somewhere. Will it be Stamford Bridge? That's the question. 
And just to add on to that, we have a report from Grimes as usual. Go follow her, she's very reliable. Um, it says that Zangari is leaving 100%. They've got two targets as replacement, and then she said, in order, advantage Chelsea, talks in 2021, but PSV jailed him, basically said he's not going anywhere in the last few windows. Talks before sanctions and massive negotiations since the takeover. So it looks like Chelsea really are working on this one. Then Man United are looking in for him, and Newcastle, Liverpool, Villa, and Leicester also behind. But she said, you know, in order, Chelsea really are at the top of that pile. So I think this guy probably is going to end up being a Chelsea player. You know, if we were talking to him before the sanctions, massive negotiations since the takeover has gone through. It's looking pretty solid. So maybe expect more on this one in the coming days and weeks because it sounds pretty strong that Chelsea are going in for this guy. Just a little quick update on the Nkunku situation then. Um, of course, here it says Man United, Chelsea and PSG inquiry and preparing bid and at next despite RB Leipzig, Leipzig not being keen to sell. City, Real Madrid and Tottenham linked and monitoring. No inquiries. When a bid is mentioned she will post. So we will get an update on this one very like instantly I'm assuming she's probably, probably got a very good link to him uh, t to the reporter on this. So basically as you can see here this is to a quote tweet saying the thing is will Chelsea bid 80 million for him. I'm concerned. I don't think Chelsea are going to bid 80 million for him. I think they'll try and go cheap, but I don't think RB Leipzig are going to sell at all if it's less than 80 million. They really do seem like they're holding out for that sort of figure. Um, so that basically leaves him with it possibly going to Man United or PSG unless Chelsea really do go in with that 80 mil. I wouldn't expect us to do it. It's possible that we do, depending on how the Lukaku situation is. The, basically, the crux of this situation comes down to there's plenty of strikers that were interested in but it all depends on whether we can agree a deal with Inter, whereas we get a good amount of money for the loan for Lukaku, and then obviously the transfer that would be in an obligation later on. So I wouldn't expect to see too much movement on this until the Lukaku situation is solved. So that's probably going to be the priority for now. And then moving on to replacing him once we know how much money we're working with from Inter Milan for him going back there. Then next we have a report saying Man United and Chelsea are keen on Wesley Fofana. It will take at least 80 million euros to convince Leicester to sell. So 80 million euros, that's probably somewhere in the region of 60 to 65 million pounds, I think. I'm not sure. I'm just guessing on that one. And, you know, it's another centre-back option. I believe he can play full-back as well. So it's possible that Chelsea will go in for him. But for me, 80 million euros... I get that he's a young player, he's going to improve, you know, leaps and bounds probably over the next 5-10 to 10 years while he's playing. But I don't know, he's probably not my top, top choice. I think a lot of people will be excited about this one, but 80 million for me is just, it, it's too much. I can't see us paying anything near that for another centre-back when we've got other options, which we'll talk about next. Then we have Inter Milan are open to offering Skriniar as part of an attempt to sign Romelu Lukaku. The other mentioned Inter players are unlikely to be offered lots of negotiation needed uh, to make it happen so for this one if it was up to me Skriniar if we take a look at some of his appearances here we'll take a look in the Serie A for this previous season 27 years old of course plays centre back right centre back pretty good with uh, passing out and long balls but not really got any other strengths or weaknesses a probably tall physical player 35 total appearances for into this previous year he was in the team of the week four times with three goals no assists they managed 12 clean sheets, and if you take a look at his, you know, Jules won 53%, on the ground 55 in the air 50 No real disciplinary issues with only three yellow cards. So you look at that, and the numbers are okay. They're nothing outstanding. His average score so rating is a 7.07. .07. Only really had an injury towards the end of the season there, and generally has been very fit otherwise. Valued at about 71 million euros. I think that's a little inflated for me. I wouldn't expect him to go anything near that, given especially Interpaid 34 million for him, whatever it was, five years ago. I just don't know if I'd say 71 million. For me, I don't know. He's just not my favourite target. If we end up with him because of this swap deal with Lukaku, then at least we're getting something and some cash, hopefully, out of the Lukaku deal. But not my favourite choice. Let me know what you guys think on this one. I just think there's other options out there that I'd rather end up with. But if it's, you know, the crux in Lukaku leaving us that we take Skriniar, then maybe. I'm open to it. But this obviously clearly says that the other players are unlikely to be offered. So Lotaro Martinez, I think Bastoni was a different one. That's probably not going to happen. It's going to be Skriniar and Cash. 
or just cash, but probably not that much of it from Inter because they're broke. So, bit of a crap situation for Chelsea, but it is what it is, and we'll have to deal with it somehow. But that's going to be the end of the video today, guys. If you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like on it, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss a future video. I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.